So, oh, you know, we, I talked already a whole bunch about the, the mycology around it, but the whole phenomenon is, is so fascinating. I'm Suklal Groom. I'm 28 years old and I'm from Dumba. In the highlands of Nepal, in a region known as Mustang, there is a very special annual event. And for some, it may be the most important event of the year. I belong from poor family. So to fulfill my desire and family background, I don't have any good job. Every year I go to hunt it, this Yarzagumba for good money. Due to which I can fulfill my desire along with my family. Suklal and his friends are beginning a hunt that will last for two months. If it goes well, it will be a substantial part of their annual income. However, their quarry lies in the dangerous rocky grassland high above tree line, between 10 and 15,000 feet elevation. This particular migration to the highlands is regarded with much interest by researchers and enthusiasts around the world. My name is uh, Daniel Winkler. I was up on a slope in Tibet and there was these guys uh, collecting some weird thing. I had no idea what it was. It looked like a root and there was something growing out of it. I could tell it wasn't a plant. What they seek is one of the most coveted natural resources of the Himalaya. It's so dangerous during the period of hunting we need to climb hills, many stones come rolling down and passes through us, nearby us. This avalanche is running somehow nearby us, so it's too dangerous. Most of them feel the same like me, but most of them get altitude problem also, due to less oxygen or what to say. Actually, I have hunted it since 10 years. This is found mostly on high altitude. When you're looking, and you're not finding, yeah. does it feel like you're not seeing them or they're just not there? I'm, I think that they are not just there. What are they hunting among the shrubs and lichen? The local name is Yotsugumba and translates into summer grass, winter worm. Yeah. It is also known as Ophiocordyceps sinensis a parasitic fungi that attacks the larva of the ghost moth caterpillar. The ghost moth larvae gestate underground for up to five years. During this time, a spore will enter their bodies, or they will feed on the roots of shrubs that carry the cordyceps mycelium. Once inside the larva, the mycelium travels to the brain and compels it to move to a certain depth, wherein the fungi kills and mummifies the caterpillar. And when the soil temperatures and moisture conditions are just right, the fruit body erupts from the caterpillar's brain, spreading more spores and beginning the cycle again. Mushroom cultivators have tried for years to grow this particular kind of cordyceps. Until recently, they only managed to run the mycelium.
Until now, I am empty handed. Huh? I have not got anything. How you feel? Quite unhappy. Was not for long. I have got a lot of time and a lot of place too. Around 10 years ago, nobody knows about Yarzagumba in our place. So, due to the help of science book in our school life, I read about Yarzagumba. And with the help of two, three goat keeper, I went above three line and started sourcing it. At that period, the price of Yarzagumba was just 5 to 30 rupees per piece. There was no much more hunters, so we can hunt around 100 piece to 200 piece per day. As the rate is also rising off, people are much more attracted towards it. Per one nowadays we'll get around 600 rupees. They selected only the big one which cost around 1000 bucks to 1500 for one. The whole business around it, the buying and the supply chain, it's quite complex. Well, first issue is, of course, it is uh, extremely valuable. So there's a lot of money involved, a lot of cash. When you take into account how many millions in cash are dealt there every day, how little crime is around that, it's very impressive, basically how safe the whole scene is. This tiny treasure is small enough to hide behind a single blade of grass. Finally. Do you see it? Come on, come on. It's the first caterpillar. Over here. Yes. Just beside the bushes. It's my first caterpillar. Sechi! This is the first piece which I have got today. Yeah, it's quite beautiful. So now I'm going to keep it in my pocket. <laughs> Are you feeling better? Yeah. Quite better, huh? Yeah. As I kill the the Actually, I don't know what it's used for, but it's too expensive. Ophiocordyceps sinensis is a powerful natural medicine that is used to increase vitality, destroy tumors, boost immunity, and slow aging. The active compound is cordycepin, 3-deoxyadenosine. ATP is a compound that supplies power to our mitochondria. This small yet powerful medicinal fungus catches a very high price in the markets of Tibet and China and is becoming very popular in the West as a performance-enhancing supplement. One kilo of whole dried caterpillar fungus will sell for up to $15,000 wholesale. In Nepal, the average monthly salary is about $50. Suklal and his friends will traverse these wet slopes for an average of 15 hours each day, with the understanding that the more they walk, the more they might find. For them, it is a narrow window of opportunity. Many people like Suklal have become dependent on the seasonal income. Due to a slow life cycle and the extremely high value of this fungi, overharvesting can become a serious environmental and economic problem. However, as this natural medicine becomes more popular and the demand goes up, 
so does the competition for harvesting. So now it's too hard to find the same thing like before because there are much more hunters who came back learning something from us. Well, this is one of the good things to earn money. So they are attracting towards it. But that does not deter Suklal from encouraging the next generation to seek their fortune. For all the teenagers from my side, my, from my place, it's one of the good income source. So it's better to attend to it. Thousands of migrant workers travel to the highlands to try their luck and earn a decent income. We have this precious fungus that people who have been completely marginalized um, are able to collect and are able to get a slice of the pie. How do you feel? I'm too happy. <laughs> Back at camp, Suklal and his friends clean the cordyceps and prepare them to dry. Last season, my beginning was so good. As the result of good hunting, I got a lot of yarzagumba. The collectors don't get their product to the consumer, so there's always middlemen. Often they even themselves have to go in debt to be able to finance their, their collection. Well, they have to pay for travel, for supplies, and then um, also for permits. First of all, the businessman, he told me that he will give 600 for one. But at final period, he came late, and most of my Yardzumba was not so good. About the money, he gave just only 400 rupees for one. I can't get enough money for that, which I have extracted. Recent studies have revealed that this fungi has a secondary method of self-propagation. Recent research has discovered that the caterpillar fungus actually has a life cycle within alpine plants. So it li lives in roots, stems, and leaves. The Chinese research team looked at about uh, 40 different alpine plants and 20 of them uh, had the mycelium, had the DNA of the fungus within its system. This is really awesome information for sustainability because uh, a fungal mycelium can spread without always needing its spores to seed it somewhere else, but it can stay in the environment that way. Even if it is over-harvested, it will live on in the plants, but for how long, we still do not know. After more than 50 years of trying, Chinese growers have finally succeeded in producing fruit bodies. Artificial cultivation has succeeded. I think last year they already claimed that they were growing um, two tons of artificial cultivated larvae with fruiting bodies. This is a major step forward for cultivators and will allow more access to quality medicine for people who need it. But how will this affect the economy that Suklal depends on? Only time will tell. as it's one of the most expensive and medicinal half, try it once. There is still much to be discovered between the culture of collecting, the new technology of cultivation, and the unique fungi that connects them all. <laughs>